I want to harp on my point of messaging to the people for a moment because I feel like this is the main issue uh, with Republicans in Congress right now. Uh, we have the majority in both the House and the Senate. And after seven and a half years of President Obama, I think it's pretty clear by this point that President Obama is not interested in compromising with Republicans unless the compromise uh, is on behalf, is done by the Republicans. So why aren't Republicans in the House and Senate, why aren't our representative, our legislators, or our legislators, why aren't they passing everything just like they want, everything about repealing Obamacare, replacing Obamacare, everything on tax policy. Why aren't they passing a conservative agenda and forcing President Obama to veto it so we the people can see clearly who's impeding the, uh, these issues? Well, that, that's a great question. The, the fact of the matter is we did pass a bill that, that repealed most of Obamacare earlier this year, and guess what? The president vetoed it. Uh, we passed under the Congressional Review Act uh, uh, legislation that, that would serve to block some of these EPA regulations. The president vetoed it. And you'll be hearing more about this as we head into the campaign season. But that, that's why the executive branch is, is so important that we have to really get a Republican in the White House. Because you know that Hillary Clinton, if we pass another piece of legislation that would repeal Obamacare next year, she'll veto that. We need to head, move ahead with, with real health care reform that's actually going to empower consumers, empower patients, uh, get Washington out of controlling our health care decisions and micromanaging our health care industry. Because across the country, people are seeing the detrimental effects of the Affordable Care Act. I see it in my district when parents come to me and tell me that uh, a treatment that they used to have for their kid who has a peanut allergy, one of these EpiPens, that used to cost, te cost $10 under their own olden plan, now costs between $350 and $400. This wasn't how Obamacare was sold. Uh, so again, we, we, we did pass legislation to repeal Obamacare. The president vetoed it. Uh, uh, and, and we needed executive in the White House who's going to sign on to our initiatives. All right, Congressman, I appreciate everything you're doing to fight against this. I think it's really important uh, to make appearances like this for Republicans in both the House and the Senate to get out there, create a media blitz, talk directly to the people about the impact of what the Democrat policy, the Democratic policies are doing to our daily lives because we hear the media spin, we hear the liberal politicians spin, we hear spin by President Obama himself, and it's, it's easy to get confused for someone who's not following on the pulse of everything that's happening. And we need that. We need that communication to be able to, uh, to hold our government accountable. But I will let you go for right now, but I appreciate hey, you coming on the show. Hey, well, thank you. Appreciate that.